So part two is the area of this kind of traditional project management. So this is this kind of 1990s software development cycle where we get requirements, we gather requirements off the customer and the client, and then what we look to do is go away and implement them. We build the whole project and then we come back and show them. So the next bit we're going to look at is if we have this waterfall method, what are the steps that are involved in a software project? So again, I'm going to raise this to the group. Um, so what sort of things would you say are involved in a software project? Design. Design. Planning. Planning. Requirement building. Yep, requirement building. You got the main one? Coding. Coding. <laughs> and then testing as well as the last one. And so this is kind of a representation of this software development lifecycle. And this is the traditional sort of project route that a software or project will go through. So you've kind of got this initial planning, so what you're going to do on the project. You're then analysing which part of the plan you're capable of doing, how you're going to execute it, and setting out the tasks that are going to happen. Then you're going to go through the design stage, so what the UI looks like, so the user interface, sorry. So that might involve, if you have a website, what are each of the pages going to look like? Then you can go forward to actually implementing those pages. Then we move through to, OK, well, we have the designing and we have the implementation. Now what we want to do is test it to actually make sure it works correctly. Once that happens, there's then a case of, OK, that's rolled out to the client. How do we then maintain it and make sure the project keeps working? And if there's any updates that need doing, how do we roll that out? That also needs to be part of the plan. So next of all, I've got a task which I want the group to do, which is basically kind of following this waterfall approach. So the aim is I'm going to have a set of four items on a piece of paper. And what I want you to do is draw those four items. However, you're not allowed to look at the items. You'll be able to ask me as many questions as you like about what's on the sheet of paper, but then you'll have to draw them. And basically, you've got four minutes to gather requirements, so that's asking me what's on the paper. Then you'll have eight minutes to draw, followed by a two-minute review session where you'll be able to ask me some more questions, and then any adaptations to the drawing that happen. The model we were kind of following here, can everyone read that clearly? So this is this kind of 1990s software development process that I was talking about at the start, the one that has some kind of fundamental flaws. So this follows that the development lifestyle we broke down. So that's the idea of, first up, you get your requirements, take them. Then you go away, you do your design and your implementation work. Obviously, you guys can't do any implementations. We just did the design work. So you can imagine that when you start adding code to these designs and increasing the amount of items within it, you're going to get further and further away from the vision the customer had in the first place. And then, obviously, we kind of did a verification step. Quite often, a lot of companies in the 90s would have a big requirement spec, which had a, a big sort of Microsoft Word document, loads of lines on about everything. And it was only to get to the, when they got to the verification step, the customer wouldn't see the software until the final stage when it was actually built, when they go, this isn't really what I asked for in the first place, is it? In which case, the companies would then have to go back and charge the client a fortune because it then takes absolutely ages to adapt anything and to change anything because it's already built. And I'm not sure if everyone can read this. I think you might have seen this before. So this is kind of a thing, a, a general cartoon in project management. Um, so if I read them out, because they're quite hard to read, the first, so the top left, is how the customer explained it. The second, the next one to the right, is how the project leader understood it. The third one is how the analyst designed it. The fourth one is how the programmer wrote it. 
The fifth one across, so the top right, is how the business co consultant described it. Then the bottom left is how the project was documented. <laughs> then second in from the bottom left is what operations installed at the end. The middle bottom is how the customer was billed. Then next right is how it was supported. Mm -hmm. And the bottom right is what the customer actually needed in the first place. Mm -hmm. So that, that generally kind of, that, that's a really famous image within software project management about how things go and how you can never get that kind of image from the first place and how you adapt that.